Well, one of the biggest movie theater chains in the country is making a change. It's going to impact how many of us get ready to watch a show. Cinemark has new rules banning large bags from their venues. It's a safety precaution. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas on that story in Lakewood. So, Dylan, what are moviegoers telling you about the change? Jim, for decades, they've been coming to the movies as a favorite, um, favorite American pastime. But now this movie theater chain is one of the biggest in the nation. And right behind me, they won't be able to bring in some of those big bags they once were able to. For those like Amy Hinman. I love the movies, so I try to go at least once a month. Visiting a local theater is a regular event. But Cinemark, the nation's third largest theater chain, is changing their policies limiting what bags are allowed in their venues. Kind of sucks so people sneak in food sometimes, so I guess it's one of the downers. Any bags larger than 12 by 12 by 6 will not be allowed in, effective immediately, with the exception of baby and medical bags. Even for moviegoers who like to sneak in food and drinks, they say the policy is something they can work around. I have a bottle of water in my bag right now, so like that kind of sucks, but at the same time, like they're just trying to keep us safe. Some said they expected the change. I think it should have been done sooner, a long time ago. Especially since Cinemark owns the Aurora Century 16 Theater, the site of the 2012 Aurora Movie Theater massacre, where a gunman walked in the theater heavily armed and shielded, killing 12 and injuring dozens of others. It's been, it's been way too long, and it's definitely like time to kind of like start making some changes. While many said it was sad that this type of measure is needed in today's society, most said they were okay with the change. I don't really mind. It's whatever keeps us safe. It's totally fine with me. Now, we should point out that when it came to the shooting in 2012, the gunman did enter the back of the building through a propped door, and there was a lawsuit where they did try and claim that the theater should have been held liable for that shooting. However, that lawsuit was eventually dropped. Reporting live, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Thank you, Dylan.